It's not about who you think you are. Come on, Cora is warning us this morning. Come on, come on. It's not about the fact that you think you are a prophet. Mm. It's not about the fact that you think you're a discerner. It's not about the fact that you think you got a gift to sing. Right, right. It has never been about you. That's right, that's right. Oh my God. Come on. It has always been about Jesus Christ. Yes. For it was him that gave you the gift. That's right. That's Amen. Right. That's right. And he gave you the gift for the perfecting of the saints. Yes, yes the Lord. Thank you. Thank he you. gave you the voice so you can lift up the saints right. in right. rough right. times. Praise Thank the Lord. He gave you the discerning spirit that you can help somebody that was in desperate need. You can Amen. pull somebody out of the fire. Yes. Yes. It is not about you. That's right. Praise the right. Lord. Thank you. Amen. Oh my God, I wish all the people in the house of God would hear me tonight, yes. this morning. I wish the church would hear me. I wish the highfalutin pastor, the highfalutin priest, the highfalutin people would hear a word from the Lord this morning. I wish they'll hear from Cora's diary this morning. It is not about you, it's about Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. It has always Lord, been praise the Lord. about him. Amen. You thought it was about you. All along you thought it was about you. No, it wasn't about you. It has always been about God. Oh my God. Amen to God. Many are deluded in your thinking because they think they're anointed and should be in a greater capacity Many infighted in the house of God. For they think that God has blessed them too. And indeed God does bless the whole house. For the children of Israel were all sanctified. Come on, talk to me. Everybody was sanctified. Everybody was blessed. But amongst the blessed, God will raise up them that will lead and it's not your place to usurp any authority over the leadership that God has put in his church when you open your mouth you're opening your mouth against God for the people fought against Samuel they fought Samuel they fought him they said we don't want you Samuel we don't want your prince we don't want your children to rule over us we want a king when Samuel cried, God said, don't cry, Samuel. Don't cry anymore. The people haven't rejected you. They have rejected me. When you reject leadership, you're rejecting God. Amen. When you reject the word from leadership, you are, let me tell you something. If leadership say do A, do A. Amen. Come on, come on. Hear me. If leadership is wrong, let God deal with leadership. Yes, the Lord. Amen. If you see something wrong in the house of God, let God deal with it. Yes. Get on your knees and pray. But yes. don't try to tackle leadership with your own yes. home. Praise the Lord. For when you battle leadership, you're battling against God himself. That's right. That's right. That's right. God will take care of anything that comes in with leadership or not. We have, but we have some people in the house of God that desire greater position. They want to be like the bishop. They want to be like the pastor. They want to be in the pastor's capacity. They have a dream to be in the pastor's capacity. They have a dream to be in the prophet's capacity. And so they push themselves and they do things to, uh, amen, to divide and to conquer and to push their way to push their way up front. You ever see those kind of people? Am I talking to myself? Amen. You ever see those kind of people that try to push their way up? I think I am something. What I mean is that you are nothing but dirt. Right, that's Amen. right. That's right. Praise the Lord. Lord. And dirt should be quiet. Oh, yes, yes. Huh? Amen. You think Lord. that you are equally anointed and should be equal in authority. My God. And because you feel slighted, you have sold seed of discontent among the brethren against leadership. Your years in the church don't qualify you to be a leader. That's right. Not because you've been around for 20 years. You are qualified to be a leader. Come on, come 
Not because, amen to God, you've been giving money to the church for 45 years that qualifies you as somebody special in the house. Hmm? Not because, my God. You bought a chair, a window in the house of God. That qualifies you to be anybody special in this house. Well, the house of God is a pillar and ground of truth. It belongs to Jesus Christ and him alone. And no one can usurp any authority over God's house. Oh, my God. If the preacher usurp any authority over God's house, God will deal with him. God, amen to God, will put him in his place. God will fix the preacher, but you keep your silence, and in silence you pray and tell God, show God what's happening. Say, God, this is what happened. Korah made a mistake. Korah didn't go to God. Korah didn't see things that Moses and Aaron were not doing right and go to God. But Korah decided that he's going to gather his 250 cords. He's going to gather his brethren, and he's going to go up against the man of God. Amen. And I'm going to take what's rightfully mine. For I'm a part of this children of God. I'm a part of the group. I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in this fountain claimed by blood. I deserve to be where I'm supposed to be. Amen to Jesus Christ. My God, but God was displeased. I might be displeased with you. Glory be to God and forgive you. But when God is displeased, when the wrath of God come upon you, oh my God, watch it. When the wrath of God come upon you, for he's a consuming fire. Praise the Lord. Amen to God. I want to warn every one of you today that it is not you that has kept you. It is God. Yes, amen. It wasn't your prayer that healed. Mm. No, it wasn't the long fasting. No, it wasn't. It was God yes. who had mercy. Yes. Yes. My yes. God. Many people think it was their prayer and long fasting that caused the healing. You know, I prayed for him. Mm. Oh, yes, I prayed for this. It's not your prayer that did it. Right. It was God who moved. Praise the Lord. Come on. Come on. He gets the glory out of everything. Amen. The reason why you pray was because God put the prayer in your mouth. Oh my God, I wish. I wish you would get it this morning. I wish you would grasp the concept that it's not about us. It is about Jesus Christ. Korah died because he got beside himself and touched the Lord's anointing. Oh my God. Mind if you think of anybody in your mind, anybody who's touching the Lord's anointed, anybody who have touched the Lord's anointed, run and warn them. Never touch the Lord's anointed. The Bible tells us that God said, not a man, but God said, touch not mine anointed, nor my prophets, nor do my prophets any harm. Don't touch mine anointed. If you touch mine anointed, you're touching me. And if you touch me, I shall consume you. Oh my God. When you touch God's anointed, you are not fighting against the anointed one. You are not fighting against the pastor. You are not fighting against the prophet. You are not fighting against the teacher. You are fighting against God himself. The Bible says God is a mighty warrior. God is a mighty warrior. God is a man of war, the Bible says. Oh my God, when you array yourself against God, when you array your battle against God, when you look around, you see 10,000 times, 10,000 upon thousand upon thousand, and thousand upon thousand of angels with their sword drawn. They're coming to kill. They're coming to destroy. Don't fight against a man of God. But when you fight against him, you're fighting against God. My God. You're fighting against God himself. Korah didn't die because he started a coup against Moses and Aaron. But he died because long before that day, he rebelled against God in his heart. The manifested behavior that we see in people didn't start there. 